A Christmas tree in a red bikini. How lovely is that? What more does a boy want at this time of year? Yeah, it probably um, rings some bells as well, that bikini. Yeah, that's probably the wrong thing to say, uh, because, you know, a boy would want um, the bikini and the woman that it's in, especially if it's Dame Helen Mirren. We all remember how good she looked in that bikini. I'm going to try and talk myself picture, out a little, wasn't it? Yeah. little hole that I seem to have dug myself into. The thing is, we all know, we all remember that red bikini well, don't we, ladies? Well, Dame Helen Mirren has decided to give it away to charity to benefit Age UK, to help uh, keep older people warm in the winter. Uh, this is Cordelia chatting uh, with Dame Helen about it. Helen, of all your wonderful, most memorable roles, how does it feel to be just as famous for the bikini? <laughs> well, um, you know, it was just one of those tsunami of a kind of a, a moment in one's life that uh, was out of my control. There was nothing I could do about it, and I just had to kind of, you know, go with the flow, so to speak. Um, and, and uh, you know, it was a kind of a shock that anybody would be remotely interested in what I looked like in a bikini. But, um, th but there you go, it happened, and, and um, you know, and I've been dealing with it ever since. And very <laughs> flattering, because this was the real you, wasn't it? No airbrushing, no, no lighting, it was, and you looked it, fantastic. It was the real me, but in a sense it wasn't the real me, because I happened to be miraculously from my perspective, posing for a photograph that my husband was oh. taking at exactly the moment the guy took the shot. In fact, in some of the paparazzi shots, you see my husband's legs in the shot. <laughs> um, so he was actually taking a photograph of me, um, and I was you know, trying to look good, as you do, you know, when you're being photographed, sucking my tummy in and sort of posing a bit. And um, just as he took the shot, I saw a flash of... A reflection. And did you know? The, and I thought, my God, there's a guy, there's paparazzi up there. Two days later, you know, the photo came out. So, how did your husband feel about his wife being splashed all over the world? Uh, I, mean, I think, in an awful way, he was kind of pleased proud, and flattered and proud, you know. Um, I don't think that's the appropriate response myself, <laughs> but, you know, I think he was. But a private um, moment between husband and wife on holiday and some yes, guy... Yes, it's a bit, you know, it, it is discomforting, I have to say. Um, but on the other hand, I was really lucky because it was, it happened to be a very flattering photo. Um, but now I'm a bit, you know, a bit wary of going on beaches in general. Well, don't be wary, just take this bikini with you next time. Let's have a look at <laughs> it. We've got it here, My lovely we? bikini. I'd actually, it ha happens to be like one of the best bikinis in the world because it fits. The minute I bought it, I, I loved it because they, it's so hard to find a bikini that fits if you've got bosoms like I have. Yeah. And so uh, this one did fit, so I did love it. And I'm saying farewell to it, you know, kind of a little bit regretfully, but hopefully it will go to someone who will fill it with, <laughs> with um, as much aplomb as maybe I did. So what would you like to happen to the most famous bikini since Ursula Andress's? Well, I would love it to raise money for an organisation that I support called Age UK. Um, I love the idea of this little flimsy um, summer thing going towards helping old people stay warm and comfortable <laughs> in, and toasty in the wintertime. So um, Age UK is a wonderful organisation, so I'm hoping that they can... Um, raise money with it. For your chance to win Helen Mirren's bikini, call 0901 29 39 triple one. Calls cost no more than one pound and three pence from BT landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. All profits go to Age UK, which will be at least 75 pence from each paid entry. You can also enter for free at ITV.com. Entries must be 18 or over. Entries made after lines close at midday on Friday the 9th of December will not be counted but may still be charged. And good luck.